This is the entrance to the Human Rights Council and I've just come from a meeting with uh, Reaching Critical Will and Side Event on the, uh, presenting the report of the Special Rapporteur and bringing people from the Marshall Islands to show exactly what happens in reality when nuclear warheads are unleashed on civil, civilian populations in this form of, of nuclear testing. But it was absolutely incredible to me because I learned an awful lot. I thought I knew about nuclear testing, but I didn't. I didn't know about the huge long-term impact and I didn't really appreciate the extent of the enormous discriminations that took place in the way in which nuclear testing has been done. It's been used against indigenous populations because as Henry Kissinger pointed out, there's only 90,000 of them, who gives a damn? Uh, a remark was made that uh, they are closer to us than mice are, so how useful that is. And then the people who were engaged in the testing were themselves, the working class lads who were part of the military who had no clue that they were engaging in, in exposing themselves to the most horrific types of cancers and other forms of, of deformation. Um, from the Marshall Islands to the Kazakhstan testing, the, the stories were the same. And it exposes absolutely the hypocrisy that goes on when it comes to being truthful to the democratic populations to which they're supposed to be accountable. I wonder how many Americans really knew what was happening in Marshall Islands. I wonder how many British knew what was going on in the Bikini Islands. And if we did, how unconscionable that we would not protest at those activities. That said, this is actually a very good day because it's the first time that we've actually brought nuclear issues, such as nuclear testing, into the Human Rights Council through the medium of the Special Rapporteur on Toxic Waste. He was criticised by Americans for having done his report, but it's vital that it was done. It's good that the Office of the High Commissioner gave him the full backing and support in order to do that. And it means that now they've opened a the door which cannot now be closed. Because now we know, because the Special Rapporteur has said so, and Wilf has always known this, that the issue of nuclear testing, nuclear weapons in general, and nuclear power have human rights consequences which actually must be addressed in the international fora which deal with human rights. And so now we can build on this and make sure that we make the right submissions to the right states and start holding accountability for the use of production, or production use of nuclear weapons.